Claire's losing control. <laughs> so you get telekinesis powers from the floppy disk, so we can use the objects of power to our this advantage. This is definitely the reason why they made floppy disks extinct. Because of telekinesis. Yep. <laughs> Launch Imagine a line of the king finimagic. He just said finimagic. Nice. <laughs> yeah, if everyone started doing this, it'd be a crazy world. That's why there's no longer floppy disks, guys. Bing. Nice. I can advance. Uh, cool thing is, you can also just kind of grab bits of the floor. Whoosh. They're not as powerful, but they're still useful. So, boop. What is this weird world? It's like a different dimension. I don't know if I approve of this different dimension. Would you like to live here? Um, well, I'd be scared I'd fall off the edge, personally. Uh, I, I guess get so. a bit clumsy sometimes. <laughs> I guess you're right, yeah. Cool. Oh, hello. Hello, people. Oh, bam! <laughs> Fuck you! This is why I love the telekinesis. <laughs> It's just so much fun. Did that bash him on the head? <laughs> it fell on his head. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Boom. And you can also, obviously, just combine it with shooting for some fun comp. This is what makes it really fun, is the combat. They don't stand a chance. The hill snoise is burrowing into our astral plane secret base. Is it? You must stop. Mute them, director. So yeah, they're saying the hiss is getting into this secret base of theirs, I guess. Sorry, yeah, uh, yeah. You can always see this pyramid when you're here. Mm. Sorry, what was that? That was my secret base, I would not be flaunting it. I see why it's hidden. <laughs> yeah, but what if they're, the floppy disk is now bound, delivered? What if uh, they are complete... The hiss antagonist is seeking our astral plane. I love the way they talk. It's really weird. Cut oh. off. Oh, there's many people. Um, what was I saying? Ah, oh, boom. Eat shit. I was saying something and now I've completely lost it. <laughs> um, don't really know anymore, Claire. Nice. That was very insightful. Yeah. Do you wish you had telekinesis powers? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh! I want to be like Matilda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Matilda. Be like, I want a I cup of tea. Ba ding. <laughs> Without yeah, moving off it. my butt. Boom. I saw her on Twitter the other day. <laughs> what, just chilling? Yeah. What's the actress that plays her? I don't know if I can at the moment. But he shoots projectiles, so I want to uh. know how, if I can catch his projectile. I might not... No, I can't. I cannot yet. <laughs> That's an upgrade. I have not got that. <laughs> cool. That wasn't so bad. We got our floppy disk. I think every single clock in this place is stuck at the exact same point. Oh. Quarter to four. Oh, hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. Is he dead? No. There's a lot of boxes gotcha. conveniently laying around for you, isn't there? I mean, to be fair, we are in the delivery department, right? So, <laughs> or communications department. Um, I think. Oh, I've got a bunch of shit. Hiss demolition experts. So that's the guy with the the the, the rockets. Yeah. So wait, are they using? So they can use the weapons against us. Is that what we're saying? Yeah, they can wield specific, specially built rocket propelled grenade that's dying to it. Okay, yeah. And the Hiss Ranger. Uh, so they can have a variety of weapons, including submachine guns, assault rifles, and automatic shotguns. Holy God shit. damn it. It's a lot of things. The floppy disk. Do you want to read the floppy disk? Containment procedure. It must be contained in a cell with no other loose material. Makes, makes sense. Yeah, description. <laughs> that, yeah, description. The object is an 8 inch. Disket. Oh, it's para utility. So para like so para utility. It's like paranormal, right? Oh, okay. Para utility. It's the utility for it's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get it. I get it. Okay, okay. Disket Sorry, containing <laughs> Soviet era nuclear launch codes. Oh jeez. When bound, the object allows. 
Para para utilitarians. Jesus. Yeah. The tele <laughs> telekinetically lift material and throw it a short distance. See Dr. Darling presentation eleven point fifteen for more information. The object is currently bound to blankety blank for the research purposes. <laughs> background every time you say blankety blank we need to have the blankety blank theme <laughs> play blankety blank blankety blank <laughs> sorry go uh stolen from the soviet military base located in blankety blank by agents <laughs> blankety blank and blankety blank <laughs> with the cia oh, with the cia yeah. the disc it contained launch codes to blankety blank missiles believed to be reserved for use against blankety blank <laughs> After being returned to America, the diskette began throwing computi computational hardware at members of the decoding team. An <laughs> informant in the CIA tipped the bureau off that it was requisitioned by agents the next day. Nice. Oh yeah, and they have acquisition dates as well. Look, this was found in 1964, 1974, and redacted where they found it. And that is, we watched that already. Floppy disk. Oh, I thought that guy was getting up then. The can be reached through the mail. Okay, so. Hello? No, stop the whispering. I don't like it. Oh, I'm stuck on a box. So this. The mail room's to the left. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, I was looking at the posters. I was very intrigued. Mail room to the right. Cool. Oh, uh, where's that black? Mail room. <laughs> I don't want to go in there. Wait, can I even get in there? Locked. I can't get in. Maybe there's a key nearby. Oh, hello. Have you got a key? <laughs> there we go. This that was handy. Oh, why did he move? What happened to <laughs> that was creepy. Don't know. Very creepy. Cool. Oh, there's a cleanse point. A control point. Boom. Boom. There we go. So basically, you can use these as travel points as well to travel between. Oh. So you you basically go back and forth in this place. It's quite quite cool. I like it. Mail room. Ah. Oh. oh, what is that? Who that? Who that, Claire? Couldn't we have just climbed through that? Where the fuck did he come from? Great. It's Tomasi. That's the guy in charge. Oh wait, I can chuck things in. Oh, he dodges them. He can levitate and dodge things. Jeez. How do I hit him with anything? Oh, I can't. He's a dodgy boy. Ow, he hit me. Oh, oh no, he hit me. Oh god, the game's lagging like hell. That's the one fault with this game. It does lag like shit sometimes. Oh god. Oh god. Help me, Claire! I'm gonna die! Um, I feel like you took cover, like, in the Uncharted. I was just here, like, yeah, down basically. here! Huh, huh. Oh no, there's a man! Ah. Oh, I fell from the thing. I was just about to chuck a big male trolley at him, but... Oh well, there we go. So, <laughs> this game doesn't have difficulties, I don't think. I think it's all one difficulty, so... Is that? That goes, yeah, so I'm not playing it on the hardest difficulty or anything. Yeah. I did get the platinum for this game. I loved it that much. It's nice. one of my favourites. I really need to pee right now. Oh, I really need to pee. So what are you eating again, sorry? Oh, pancakes. I'm having breakfast for dinner. Because I had lunch for breakfast and pancakes, dinner for lunch. Pancakes, having, having pancakes. I don't really know what's happening. With your sausages. Like... It's twenty past eight. Should I be? I, I think I should be concerned, right? Possibly, because at this rate, you're gonna end up having tuna again. No, thank you. No, thank you. I don't want tuna. Oh, it's making creepy noise again. Have you seen? I changed the Discord chat name. Oh, did you? Yeah. Control the bandicoot. <laughs> We must control him. I'm going over here to see if there's any secrets. There I am. How did they get a picture of me? They have your I don't face. like it. It's kind of creepy. Oh, there's a little window. Oh, I was there before, the cafeteria. Yeah. Yeah, look, there's the hallway I couldn't get through. So we've gone all the way round. Jeez. 
Okay. I want to see secrets. Can I get in here? Oh, nice. Let's quickly look at this stuff. I know it's more reading, but... <laughs> Pay attention, Alberto. This is the last time I'm explaining this. Internal lockdowns are manually triggered events that block one or all of the sectors by restricting use of the sector elevator. Why's that? I gone. <laughs> oh, you were gone. Yeah, I was talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, and they just cut you off, and then I was like, "Hello, hello, <laughs> hello." There he's gone. Uh, and then I rejoined, and you were like, blah, 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 blah. and I was like, "Were you talking to yourself?" <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I was reading this, so it's not too bad. Effectively locking staff in their sector until the emergency is handled. So there's an elevator that takes you to different sectors. Nice. It can only be lifted via the directional override in maintenance once the director is satisfied that the situation is under control. External lo lockdowns are a bigger deal. Nothing in or out of the whole building. It's only triggered by a code red containment breach based on some complicated system that security and research, research sat together. Oh, that's hard to say. Can only be lifted by once... Oh, it can only be lifted once A, the threat has been neutralised, and B, a high-clearance individual gives the system the all-clear. This process is not the same as the direct override, so stop saying so in documentation! I know it's confusing as hell! I've told Darling a hundred times to change it, but they're adamant it stays the way it is! Honestly, I don't even think they know how to change it at this point! Let's just make sure our staff understand how this will work, okay? Marshall. <laughs> sure. I fig figured he got quite angry, so I thought like I had to get a bit angry, right? <laughs> oh, um. This is a weird place. Hello? What is this? Huh! I think okay. the control is strong in there. I cannot go in there. Hello? Wait, the janitor's been here. That's the janitor's music. And he Wait, crawled. why is the janitor not affected? <laughs> um, that's a good question, Claire. Is it? I don't know. Is it the janitor? Oh, oh shit! You know, we definitely knew it was Samuel all along. So <laughs> it's those creepy janitors, I tell you. Oh, oh man, that's a big boy. That's a shield boy. Oh, I like throwing things. It hurts them. What is this room? Is it your office, Claire? Uh, yes. Bam! Oh, that does so much damage. It's so satisfying. Who's 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 at me? Who, where are you at? You want a box? Oh, oh god! I've done not a lot of damage at all. I just feel like I need to chuck shit at him constantly. Got him. That wasn't so bad. Not so bad. Do you like how I've gone to a completely different room? Because <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to deal with whatever was in that other room. Is that all that was in here? Some men. Hopefully. Okay. A little office pod. Whee! Whee! Can I go in here? And no, I cannot. Whee! Alright, let's do it. This time. We will defeat the his corrupted Tomasi. <sighs> okay, are there more men around? Great. <laughs> so yeah, there's many different forms. Some can fly. Some can. How do you think I defeat him? By cowering like a wimp. Yeah. Why not? What do you reckon? What if this guy flew into your bedroom tonight? I'm like, you no, thank you! Wrong house! <laughs> nope, you're not allowed here. Take fire extinguisher, bitch! Do fire extinguishers explode when they have a heavy impact? I'm not sure if you can, like, um, hit them at all with thrown things, because. How are you, what, you just gotta shoot him? Yeah, I feel like I have. I don't know if I can throw something to make him move. Where is he? Where the fuck is he? Okay. I don't know where he's gone, Claire. I'm scared! It's creeping me out! There's a lot of people here. They, I think they want me dead. 
Hello? Are you there? Are you talking to me or the guy? No, I'm talking to the his. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's up here, look. Oh, I think I hit him. Yeah, I hit him. Did you see it? Ah! Nice. So you can throw something and then throw it again. I am running out of health though, so... Steal this guy's health juices. Mmm. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, no, there's another guy. More important. Ah! I, I don't know if important's the right word, because this guy can really hurt me. Oh, God, the frame rate. Jeez. Maybe because I haven't got the update installed, that might be <laughs> bad oh, as well. Because it, it definitely, when, when the game launched, I played the whole game with, like, a dodgy frame rate. Got that guy. See, look. Oh, jeez, it's dropping like hell. Hello, Valerie. What would you like today? you got to do Valerie's voice. What if I was deep in the bushes <gasps> and I had some treaties and then I wanted more treaties, but my owner would not give me more treaties. Even when I licked <laughs> my lips. He even tried to eat them himself. He said they smelled so good. I just said they smelled good. I didn't try to eat them. To Valerie, you tried to eat them. Ah! No! Oh. I'm not doing very good at this, am I? This guy's hard! This is like the first big guy that you come across. Boom! Yeah, I managed to hit him with something that time, so... See, look. Bam! That hits him. Got him! Oh, where's he going? Get back here! Oh, no. What's he doing? Oh, he flew off into the sky. I have a feeling he'll be back. No, why did she say that? I don't want him to come back. <laughs> okay, hotline, yeah? Let's go get it. Yeah.